What is up? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can add dark mode to your website or your web app. So I'm here on the well, dark mode JS website and you can see they are explaining us like how it's done. They're using mixed blend mode on the CSS. You just scroll down. They have demos that you can take a look. Um, so let's keep scrolling down here and you can see they're giving us um, the code that we just need to add to our website. You can use NPM and if you scroll down, you will have more options um, that you can add to the dark mode. All right, so let's go ahead and let's test it. So you can see here they have this little button with like an icon. Let's click and look at this dark mode. Yes. So if you click back, it's going to toggle. So it's like a toggle, you know, between the dark mode and the normal page. And this is exactly what we're going to do. So I have here my page is a very simple HTML page um, with one article and then another um, and a photo and then another article. I have a button here. So I want to add that little toggle here. So let's go back and let's scroll down a little bit. So I have all these options. And I need this script so we can get the dark mode JS. I'm going to copy. Let's go to my text editor. All right. So this is my page. Just simple HTML. There is no JavaScript yet. Um, if you scroll down, I have here a script, but it's empty. If I go to the file, there's nothing here. We're going to add something. I have some CSS already. Um, not much but I have some and then what I'm going to do is before my script, I'm going to add the dark mode JS right there. OK, so I'm going to save that. Let's go back and see what else we need to do. So here you can see um, we need a script. Um, we're going to do this in our own JavaScript file. So let's scroll down because I want to add some of these options. I want to play with them. All right, so I'm going to go to my text editor. I'm going to go to my script file, which is empty right now, and I'm going to create an options variable. So I'm going to do const options equals to and uh, brackets is an object. So now we can go back and we can just copy all this. Let's just copy all this. And let's go back and let's paste it. All right, so you can see now we have this variable of options with all the list of these options, including the label, which you can change it right there. And now down here, we're going to do this new dark mode. And then here we can add the options. And now we're kind of, you know, getting all these options and putting in there. And then I'm going to do period show widget. All right, and I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to make sure that this is right. All right, so it seems like they created a dark mode and then a dark mode variable and then inside that they actually added this. So let's do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this, but I want to do that. All right, so now we have a const. Perfect. Let's remove this. Let's save it. Let's go back to my page. Let's see if this works. Let's reload this page. And here you see, now we have here the icon. Let me click on it. Whoa, dark mode. Look at this dark mode. Let's click again and we go back. All right. So right now you can see, um, is on the left side. You can change it. Let's go back and let's see at the options. So if I add here on the right, instead of instead of unset, I'm going to do um, 32 pixels and then on the left unset. Let's see if that works. OK, there you go. So now we have it here on the right side. All right. 
let's see what else we have here. So we have the time of the animation. I'm going to add, yeah, it needs to be a little bit um, faster. And we have more things, background color, save in cookies. Actually, this is um, interesting. I'm going to turn into true. So that way it gets saved on the browser that we change it. And now if we reload the page, it's going to stay dark or whatever we actually change to it. So I'm going to reload this page like what I'm um, back to normal. I'm going to reload the page a couple of times. Okay. Change it to dark. I'm going to reload the page and you can see actually it, it changed to dark for you. Um, it gets saved on the browser. All right. So perfect. I like that. And then the label, you can change it, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. All right. So one thing that I really, really want to change is actually this, it have a little bit more to the bottom. Let's change it. Here you go. 64. Let's change it to 32. Let's see if that works. It looks a little bit better. There you go. That's better. All right. So something that I do not like is that when you um, go to dark mode, for example, um, it's just, it's using the, the, the blend mode, right? So it's changing the color right now. My orange is changing to the blue. I want to keep my orange and that's something that I want to keep. I don't want to change. It doesn't matter um, what version, if it's dark or if it's um, the light ver the normal version. Okay. So it's very simple to do. Actually, you just go to your CSS. So let's go there. And um, here I have the button. And you can see my background is just orange. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add isolate isolation, and then I'm going to put isolate. There you go. That way it will not affect that specific element. All right. So let's go back. Let's see if that works. Let's go back to this version of the page. Let's reload and let's go back to dark mode. Here you go. Now I can keep my orange regular button and it works perfect. So is that simple? Now you can join the dark side. All right. <laughs> so that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.